Let's talk about the debt ceiling showdown, what's going on between Congress and the White House. But before we do that, let's jump into kind of a get a overall understanding of what is the debt limit. Well, back in 1917, Congress enacted the debt ceiling limit, which is the amount of money, it limits the amount of money that the government can borrow. So um, it's got a little different, some people associate that with how much money's coming in, that really isn't how much money's coming in. Again, the, the country has revenues through taxes and things like that, and then beyond the normal revenues, they can go out and borrow to increase spending, and that's actually what was established way back in 1917 to limit Congress or the government's ability to go into debt. So that's what we're kind of talk, talking about here. And what this chart is basically showing us is back at March of uh, this year, the 450 billion is how much money it was estimated the government had to spend and how the spending was going. And as you can see, as these two lines represent, there's two different groups that basically are trying to forecast when the government's gonna run out of money, and that's that zero line. So the top darker blue line is the Congressional Budget Office. They do their own measurements. They're responsible to Congress tracking the spending and the budget considerations. Anytime Congress is looking at doing something and, and allocating funds or whatever, they're using this to try to determine do they have the funds to do it or what do they have to do to keep their budget in line. On the uh, converse side, the uh, OMB baseline is the Office of Management and Budget, which reports to the president. And that's why you have these two different groups trying to measure and say, hey, where are we going to be running out of money? Okay, what's interesting about this chart is as you can see, going from March into April, the lines are going down, but then there's a spike up. Do you know what that spike up is, Dan? Hmm, that's a good question. Yeah, well, it happens April 15th of every year. People have to pay their taxes. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Th what, what this, this is kind of neat to see how they show spending going down, but they expect that influx of revenues due to the uh, taxes due at the end of the year. And then as you can see, the spending starts drawing down on those reserves. And actually, the uh, uh, president's office, OMB, decided that it looks like they calculate we're going to run out of money early June. The Congressional Budget Office has a little bit rosier picture, let's say, of where they see spending and how it's going. And their forecast was to run out of money basically mid-August. So this was back in like March time frame. This was calculated uh, by Capital Group, great research uh, group out there. And it's to understand how they see spending flowing through the year and why when there's two different groups that are kind of calculating things maybe a little differently, you know, they're, they're coming up with some different answers of when we're going to run out of money. And that makes it confusing for us as citizens to say, why, why do I hear different numbers sometimes? Because it's different groups doing the projection. You know, let's have a great month, Rocky, and uh, you take care of your family and... We'll take care of you guys. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, this was great.